In this video, we are going to cover Parcel, which is an awesome new build system tool. Um, and dare I say it, it just may be the Webpack killer. Um, for anybody who builds modern JavaScript applications, configuring and working with the build system is one of the greatest pain points that you're going to have. But Parcel streamlines almost all of that. Um, and for as young as it is, it is incredibly featureful and it's my go-to build system until I should potentially need, and most of the time I absolutely don't need, Webpack for something extremely business specific. So I'm going to show you how Parcel works. It's a lot of fun and we're going to cover so much ground in just a couple minutes. Basically, you start by NPM installing globally Parcel dash bundler. You can also install this as a dev dependency into your project, which just means adding a script to your NPM package. So we're good to go there. Um, I'm in the Parcel directory. Now I can uh, init Y. And I don't really need to do that yet, but let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to touch an index HTML. I'm going to do a module one JS and a module two JS. We're going to have three uh, different files going on our page here. And in VS Code, I can just hit exclamation and tab to get kind of like a basic HTML file. Let's go ahead and include our JavaScript module one. And that's it. I'm ready to have my build system. All I have to do is run parcel, which is short for parcel serve. So there we go, I have a local server running. Let's go to that local server. Um, and this is loading my empty HTML page. So let's see what happens if I do an H1. Yep, we've got live reloading going on there. Okay, awesome, let's do something more in JavaScript. Let's kick over to my module one JS here. Let's just say hi console log high and it's automatically reloading okay so that's not super magical i have a live server with live reloading but i can also do imports let's go ahead and import module 2 and now i can console log something from module 2. you can see as it reloads da -da -da -da, it loads in module 2 and then it runs high so i automatically have all this dynamic importing going on i didn't have to configure babel or anything like that but I can configure Babel if I want to. Uh, let's say I want to run a specific Babel feature. I can touch a Babel RC file. Let's say I want to use Babel stage three preset, you know, something specific to what I want to do for this project. Uh, then I can install it. Uh, let's save this and let's do Babel preset stage three. While that's installing, let's go to this Babel RC and add it and it'll automatically get picked up. Let's add stage three preset. It's in there. I can run parcel again. And now you can see, I'm going to see installing Babel core. So it's automatically taking care of all the other details for me. I just had to do the specific thing I wanted to do and parcel took care of the rest. So now let's do some stage three stuff here. I can go, let's do some spread and rest. Uh, values equals A is one, B is two. Uh, let's say const new values equals Values can't normally do this, uh, but I can do it with stage three and stage three. Uh, so then I can just console log new values. Let's see what happens over here on my application. And I have my new values array. It's spread out values one and two and automatically included value three. Uh, so excellent. I'm automatically able to use Babel. Super, super simple. But wait. There's more. Let's say I decide that my application's growing and I want to use React. Well, that's easy. Let's just go ahead and install the React packages. React and React DOM. While those are installing, let's go ahead and add an app tag to my page here. Um, let's go over here and just uh, import to React from React. So now we have React and React DOM. Let's go ahead and render a new application to that div ID app that I created. React DOM render. Uh, let's just do an H1 right here. Wait, we haven't installed any JSX. Well, we don't have to do it because once React is there, Parcel automatically takes care of that for you. So hi. Let's render our, render our dynamic app here um, and let's render it to document. App. Okay, this got a little messy here because I'm zoomed in so much. Not quite used to this, but I want to make it easy for everyone to see. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's parcel again and see what happens. 
you can see that we're doing some react specific stuff here check prop types stuff like that uh, let's refresh and whoa I have a react application let's say I thought that was a little bit too shouty and I want to take away that exclamation mark um, does it hot module reload still yes it hot module reloads still so parcel tries to take away all of that friction uh, from the local development experience it's super super cool um, let's look at some examples in code real quick what else can we do I made a couple examples for you here Um, it can do code splitting. Code splitting is super easy. It basically just allows you to use the dynamic import syntax, which is in a proposal right now. You run the global import function, which returns a promise. So I can import module two dynamically at any point and then do something with it once it loads. So that gets split out into two files, module one and module two. So we don't have to load our entire application. And if you already know what dynamic code splitting is, then you know what that is. Um, give you more of a React example right there. Vue, if you like Vue.js, well, that's pretty simple. All you have to do is add parcel plugin Vue um, and also add Vue component compiler utils if you want to use the actual Vue component syntax. Um, and you're good to go. Then everything else works for Vue. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these. Uh, code examples online so you can see them but that is parcel in a nutshell super fun uh, in, instead of spending an entire day or two setting up your build system for many many if not most applications parcel will get you set up in a matter of minutes it's a ton of fun go have fun with parcel and I encourage people contribute to it uh, let's build this thing up because uh, managing the build is seriously the most frustrating part of web development these days um, let's get rid of having to do that by just making a nice smart tool and building it up well. So that's my two cents on Parcel. I really enjoy it. It's my go-to build system tool for right now. Um, and I haven't really used Webpack since I've discovered Parcel. I hope this video helps you out a lot and I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up it, subscribe and have a great day.